In this video, we are going to discuss about switching techniques. So what is switching? You can see a network here where there are different nodes and there are lines that are connecting those nodes. Now, when I want to send a message from say this computer or this node to this node, then there can be many paths that can be taken. One could be from here, 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 I'm going like this or I can start from here and then I can go like this or I can go straight away like this, okay. So selecting the correct path or the available path over the whole network is called switching. There are two types of switching techniques that are available. One is circuit switching and one is packet switching. We'll discuss now what these two techniques are. First, let's start with circuit switching. What happens in circuit switching? A dedicated path is established between two nodes before any actual transmission of the data can take place. Now, here the key word is dedicated path has to set up. So what happens that there is node 1 and there is node 2, those two needs to communicate. So when node 1 needs to communicate with node 2, then what node 1 will do? Node 1 will send a call request message that node 2, are you available? Then I want to connect a connection with you. So that message, that call request message will travel through the mess, all the networks and then it will reach there. When it is okayed, then that Acknowledgement will come back to node 1 and then finally that circuit will be established. So that is circuit switching. That dedicated path is established before actual transmission of data can take place. That data could be any text file, that could be any multimedia session, that could be a video, that could be an audio. Whatever you need to transfer between node 1 and node 2, you have to first establish a dedicated path between these two nodes. Now let's see what is the advantage of circuit switching. Now you must need to remember that ARPANET, the first network that used circuit switching. Circuit switching has two advantages. The first thing is that once the path has been set, then there is no problem in communicating the data. It is not that half the data is transferred and then the connection will break. No, that dedicated path, it will be established, it will remain established till the end of the message. The second one is there is no problem of congestion. The Any delay that is there is only in establishing the path. Once that path is established, then there will be no congestion, no garbled messages, no problem would be there. But at the same time, it has some disadvantages as well. What are those disadvantages? The first thing is that request token that is being sent. The request token takes long time in traveling then coming back. So a long setup time is required for establishing that circuit. Then the second and the most important thing is line may be held up for a long time. Okay, Node 1 is communicating with node 2 and then it has established that path. If it is not releasing it, then that path cannot be used by any other message that is traveling. That is the major disadvantage of circuit network or circuit switching. This disadvantage was taken care of by the packet switching technique. What happens in packet switching? The message is broken down into small, small packets and there is no need for a dedicated line. It will travel from one node to the other at its own pace and availability and finally reach node 2. So this is what packet switching works. Now in this video we have learned what are the switching techniques. Switching techniques are actually the way we communicate over the network. So here we have discussed about the switching techniques.